Hey everyone, welcome back to the Shreve Crump and Low YouTube channel. I'm Jack Tyler. And I'm Christopher Weiss. And today we are going to be going over Christopher's collection. I think one of the things that's really special about Shreve Crump and Low is that everyone who works here is not only a great and knowledgeable salesperson about the different brands, but they're also all watch enthusiasts themselves. And so we wanted to bring Chris on here to bring some of his personal collection and to show you his top picks for right now. So Chris, before we jump into watches, what like sparked your interest? What was the, the, the thing that got you passionate about timepieces to begin with? I always love hearing people's backstories, what brought them into this very, very, shall we say, unique world. This very kind of out of fashion, <laughs> antiquated, yes. where's my Apple Watch world. Exactly. Uh, you know, first off, I mean, it's great to be here. It's fun chatting with you. You know, we always get to interact behind the scenes and it's fun to kind of be on camera and chat about these things. For sure. I think back, I think that there was a, a seminal moment in my watch collecting journey that came in middle school. Oh, wow. When I was given a Casio calculator watch. Nice. And you know, this did not make me very popular, uh, Marty McFly. Marty McFly. Was it that watch? It was that watch. I mean, My dad got this to me. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. Yeah. Um, I have no idea what happened to it. Uh, it's but, okay, you can get another one for $10 on Amazon. <laughs> Buy three for the price of one. Sure. Um, but I just, uh, I always enjoyed that. I thought that it was, it was cool to have that little toy on the wrist. Mm, you know, it, yeah. it did little things. Of course, this is way before, you know, iPhones and everything. Sure. So moving into more serious collecting, got hooked on some watches, you see some movies, you start getting the imagination fired up, you mm -hmm. go online. One of the first watches I saw online from videos was Nomos. Mm. Didn't know anything about this German brand. I start reading about them, I visit their website, find out that you can go to an authorized dealer or whatever that was, mm -hmm. new thing to learn. <laughs> Found Shreve Crump and Low, of all places. Drive down, I go in, visit the watch salon. They put Nomos on my wrist. I'm looking at this watch and I'm thinking, this speaks to me. Bauhaus inspired design, form follows function, mm. very clean. I just found this connection with this watch. Uh, got it on the wrist, took some pictures, went home, thought about it. And I, I gotta remember, you know, I called in to make the payment on this watch, having never made a purchase like this before. And I remember <laughs> giving my credit card number over the phone and my hand was shaking. <laughs> Should I be doing this? And you know, the watch came for my birthday and it was the start of- And that's it. A downward spiral. That's it, no. I'm saying an upward spiral an now. An upward spiral. And now you're here. And now we're here. And it, it, what I gotta say is it's so fun now, you know, many years later being on the sales team here because I never forget that excitement of seeing that first watch, getting to put on the wrist, and sure. learning about this. And I see that now when people come in who are looking for their first piece, yeah. who want to learn about why watches work the way they work. And it's really exciting to share that experience mm -hmm. and to relive through their experience and help guide them and yeah. see the spark in their eyes. So Chris, what is the first watch that you brought for us to look at today? The first watch was the Grail watch. It didn't take long for me to find the longer <laughs> one. Um, I suppose we can kind of start with a bang. I saw this watch online. I never thought that it was something that I would be adding to my collection. I came back here to Shreve. I put one on the wrist. I was here the day you bought it. You were here the day I picked this one yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, I remember the first time I looked at it along, I came in and asked to look at them. And I was like, I was holding it up and I'm like, oh no. And in my head, the internal monologue was, this is really amazing. I really like this, but thank goodness, like I don't need to get one. And yeah. then I did this ah. and I turned it over. And however fast it takes for the electrical activity in your brain to register a thought was how quickly I said in my head, I must have one of these. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't care what I have to do. Um, it just really blew me away mm. looking at what Longa is able to achieve. Cool. And when I won one of these, you know, I decided on the reference I wanted, I decided on what year, if I could find it. This was like the watch for about a year. I, almost wore nothing else because cool. it was hard not to wear your grail watch. Of course. When you have that special piece that you've been thinking about and pining after for so long, once you finally get it in your hands, yeah, you, you want to basically wear it to bed every night. That's that's really cool. And it's such a classic, you know, such a wonderful iconic design. And, and you know, I love the story behind the asymmetry that is actually so incredibly symmetrical. It is, it's balanced asymmetry, mm -hmm. right? In the long one dial, they're using the rule of thirds, they're influenced by the golden ratio, mm -hmm. not just in terms of the size of everything, but the right. placement. It's a, it's a very German approach, right? Mm -hmm. It's an intellectual reason for why our heart feels the way it does when you look at something. Absolutely, but still like very romantic. Very it's, romantic. It's not, it's not cold whatsoever. Not cold. So what's next? All right, so after that, it was a little difficult because I said to myself, what am I gonna pick up that's going to be amazing in the watch box that will make me pick that instead of the longer one each morning? Okay. 
And you know, I had a long list of watches. I take pictures of things. I always tell people, take pictures. If you look at that picture every night before you go to bed, that's the watch for you. <laughs> If the picture just scrolls by and you never look at it, you're really glad you saved yourself mm, the money. It's a good, good technique. And uh, I had always wanted something more whimsical, mm. something a little bit more fun, right? but something that could kind of stand toe to toe with the Longa one. And I finally settled on the Alonga and Zona Saxonia Thin in the copper blue dial. This is the starry sky on your wrist. It has a dial that we don't see this very much from Longa. They don't do playful very often. No, and nobody else really does a dial like that they at all. They don't. This is an example of Longa doing something really special on the dial side as well. We mm. always joke, oh, well, Longa, you want to flip it over, wear it upside down. Well, like It can actually be worn with a sweater. It's much more versatile than people might think. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, it's thin, it feels great. And it's, uh, I, I think, a nice contrast between these two pieces. So it was really happy. This is actually the newest piece uh, in the collection, and it's the first time we're seeing it on any of the, the Shreve, <laughs> Shreve Instagrams and videos. So I'm happy to happy to present that. Yeah, I don't think there's even a crease in the strap it's, yet. Yeah, <laughs> right. On, on, it's brand spanking new. It's, it's cool. still got that that new watch smell. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so last but certainly not least, something I was not expecting, but I guess it goes well because it's so different than the other two watches. What, what do we have here? Yeah, I think every watch collection needs something playful, something that you can wear in the summer, something that you can wear very casually. And I saw this really cool brand called Studio Underdog. If you are a watch dork on the internet, you have no doubt encountered them. They first came out with this watch that was inspired by the colors of a watermelon, <laughs> which really caught everybody's eyes. And caught my eye, but I was like, I'm never gonna wear that. <laughs> and then they came out with one that was kind of like eggplant themed mm. for colors. I was like, that's awesome. I'm never gonna wear that. Please come out with something more conservative because I'm generally a boring guy. <laughs> I have two dress watches. <laughs> right. Well, this is like, they call this Desert Sky. It was actually inspired by a sneaker color combo, but huh. they do these cool little dials. It's a seagull movement. So we're talking affordable here. Um, sapphire crystal, chronograph, with a unique and fun approach. These are some people who do not take themselves seriously. <laughs> and I think that it's important to have something that you can throw on your wrist that reminds you to not take yourself so seriously also. Sure. And uh, so they opened up the pre-orders for that. I was really happy to, to send them my credit card info and <laughs> was able to get one of the next pieces from them. Uh, they're, they're a lot of fun. That's awesome. Well, it's a, it's a great collection. It's a very uh, it's a very thoughtful collection. Thanks, Jack. Know? I think it's hard to condense down, you know, especially when you're kind of in your ramping up phase, getting into collecting and, and really pick three different watches that are going to serve three very different functions. So thank you so much for joining us today. Let us know in the comments below what you think of these watches. And as always, feel free to browse our pre-owned section. We do typically have several langas in stock here at Shreve Crump and Low. You can view those at shrevecrumpandlow.com or come visit us at the Newberry Store location. But for now, we're going to take a break and hope to see you on the next video. So thank you for joining us. Thanks, everyone.